to lose you and shoot me lose myself everything i have found here i not found by my G'day guys, my name's Dave and welcome to another Guitar Zero to Hero song tutorial. And in this lesson, I'm gonna teach you how to play Future Days by Joel from The Last of Us Part Two. And this is an, a really short song, but there's some really cool finger picking parts to it and it's a really nice melody. So you're gonna have a lot of fun. Now, if you wanna master your chords, then be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Or if you wanna improve any guitar and finger picking, then check out Guitar Zero to Hero Premium, which is my complete step-by-step -step guitar course. All right, let's jump in the lesson. Okay, so let's start with the intro. Now, for my suggested finger picking rules, your thumb should take care of the sixth, fifth, and fourth strings, and your index, middle, and ring finger should take care of the third, second, and first strings, respectively. So we're gonna start with the C chord, and we're just gonna strum that down just with our thumb. And then we're going to take our index finger, go up to the first fret of the first string, pluck that, and pull it off. So pluck it, and then Click your finger down so that you get that pull off note onto the open string. And then with your pinky finger, put it on the third fret of the second string. And you're gonna shift your index finger back up to its original position on the C. We're going to pluck that second string and pull off the pinky finger to the index finger. And again, the motion is similar. So you're pushing down the note with your pinky finger and when you hit the note, you flick your finger downwards whilst applying pressure and you'll get that pull off. So the first bar will sound like this. And then for the second bar, we're going to stay in this position, hit the second string, hit the open third string. And at this point, you're gonna shift your ring finger down one string and keep your middle finger open you're going to strum the four, third, and second strings with your thumb, like that, but you'll hammer on your middle finger onto the second fret of the third string. And then after that strum, you're gonna then pluck the second string again, like this. Now that second string note after that hammer on is pretty quick. So you're gonna to have to get to that quickly after you do that strum, like that. And so far. After that second string note, you're gonna hold that out for a little bit. Then you're going to pluck the third string to end this bar. And that's gonna lead us into the next section. So we're gonna do this strum on this F chord, but again, keep your middle finger lifted as you do this strum. And the hammer on's a bit slower here, it's not a fast hammer on like the other one we had. It's on eighth notes, so it's a bit slower like this. So the note before it and the hammer on. And then there's a six note picking pattern after this, which goes second string, fourth, second, third, fourth, and then third, but you're gonna lift your middle finger. So it's open third string. So those six plucks. And at this point, you can start lifting your ring finger to get back to a C position. And you're gonna end your intro with that C chord by just strumming it down. So the second half of this intro, starting with that lead in note. And in total for the intro. Next we get to the verse, and the verse is really simple because it's just based around those two chord shapes again, the C and the F. Now when Joel actually plays it, he does a lot of ad-lib stuff, so every single time he plays it's a little bit different, but I'm just gonna try to simplify a little bit here. So we're gonna start with the C chord, strum it, and hold it out for a full bar. And then we'll go to the F for a full bar. And then for the third bar, we stay on the F, but I'm gonna start by strumming the fourth and third strings, and then going the second string and then third string. And it kind of follows that vocal melody. 
and then we end with the C. So the chord progression for the verse here is really just C, F, F, and then C. So in total, the verse. Next we get to the chorus and there's two lines of tab here. So for the first line of tab, we're going to start with a C, hold that out for two bars and then go to a G slash B. So you're just going to take your middle finger and put it up to the second fret of the third string. And we're just going to strum the fifth, fourth and third strings with your thumb. And that's going to be held out for two bars. And then after that, we go to our F for one full bar and then end with a C for one full bar. Now for the second line of tab, we start with that C again, hold it out for two beats, then go to the G slash B, hold that out for two beats, and then we go to an A minor seven, hold that out for a full bar, and then we go to an F, hold that out for a full bar, and then we go and end with a C, but we're going to pluck the bass note, and then third, second, and back to third, which will sound like this. And in total for the chorus. One, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, And then for the outro, we're going to go to an F chord again, but you're gonna make sure your index finger is barred across the first frets of the first and second string. Then we're gonna pluck the fourth, third, second, and first strings. Hold that first string out for a little bit, then go back to second, and then third string, and then back to second string. So that F chord. And then to end this song, we go to a C, but you're gonna keep your index finger lifted. So it's C major seven. We're gonna strum that chord once, and then the second time we strum it, you're gonna hammer on your index finger. So the outro will sound like this. So now I'll be doing a full playthrough of the song and I'll have a vocal track on top for some context. Feel free to play this back as many times as you'd like to, to practice, play along to, and see how you go. If I ever were to lose you, I'd surely lose myself. To make this man of me All of my stolen missing parts I have no need for anymore Cause I believe And I believe cause I can see Our future days Days of Thanks so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this lesson, then I know you'll absolutely love these other lessons too. So hit the link here, or if you want to grab a copy of my free guitar ebook, then head over to guitarzeritohero.com or click the link here. Thanks so much, and I'll see you guys next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.